You ready? The Book of the Dragonborn by Elder Elder Scott Fitzgerald. I don't know. Fitzgerald the Fifth. Jason. The Book of the Dragonborn by Prior Emmeline Madrine. Order of Talos Wainon Priory. Year 360 of the Third Era. 21st of the reign of His Majesty Pelagius the Fourth. <clears throat> Many people have heard the term Dragonborn. We are, of course, ruled by the Dragonborn Emperors. But the true meaning of the term is not commonly understood. For those of us in the Order of Talos, this is a subject near and dear to our hearts. In this book, I will attempt to illuminate the history and significance of those known as Dragonborn. Down through the edges. <laughs> Most scholars agree that the term was first used in connection with the covenant of Akatosh with when the blessed Saint Alicia 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 but, but whatever was given the amulet of rings amulet of kings and the dragon fires and the temple of the one were first lit. Akatosh, looking with pity upon the plight of men, drew precious blood from his own heart, and blessed Saint Alicia with his blood of dragons, and made a covenant that so long as Alicia's generations were true to the dragon blood, Akatosh would endeavor to seal tight the gates of oblivion, and to deny the armies of Daedra and undead to their enemies. The Daedra loving Evanius, those blessed by Akatosh with the dragon blood, became known more simply as Dragonborn. The connection with the rulers of the Empire was thus. Keep reading that, Tony. Keep <laughs> on reading that. I will. Thank you. I do. I do. <laughs> ah, he muted me was thus there from the beginning. Only those of the dragon blood were able to wear the amulet of kings and light the dragon fires. All the legitimate rulers of the empire have been dragonborn. The emperors and empresses of the first Cyrilidolinic Empire founded by Elysia remain Remen Remat, 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 Cyrodiil, and his heirs, and of course, Tibur Septim, and his heirs, down to our current emperor, His Majesty Pelagius Septim the Fourth. Because of this connection with the emperors, however, these other significance of the dragonborn has been obscured and largely forgotten by all but scholars and those of us dedicated to the service of the blessed Talos, who was Tibur Septim. Very few realize that being dragonborn is not a simple matter of heredity. Being the blessing of Akatosh himself, it is beyond our understanding exactly how and why it is bestowed. Those who become emperor and the light the dragon fires are surely dragonborn. The proof is in the wearing of the amulet and the lighting of the fires. But were they dragonborn and thus able to do these things, or was the doing the sign of the blessing of Akatos descending upon them? All that we can say both and neither a divine mystery the line of septums have all been dragonborn of course which is the one reason 
the simplistic notion of it being hereditary has become so commonplace, but we know for certain that the early Cyrillic rulers were not all related. There is also no evidence that Raman Cyrodiil was descended from Alicia, although there are many legends that would make it so, most of them dating from the time of Remen and likely attempts to legitimize its, his rule. We know that the blades usually thought of as the emperor's bodyguards originated in Akvari crusaders who invaded Tamriel for obscure reasons in the late of first era. They appear to have been searching for a dragonborn. The events of a pale pass bear this out. Uh, Dale Dale Dash Bear? I think it's a P. Anyways. And the Akaferi were the first to proclaim remain Cyrodiil as Dragonborn. In fact, it was the Akaferi who did the most to promote his standing as Emperor, although Raman himself never took that title in his lifetime. And of course, there is no known hereditary connection between Tibur Septum and any of the previous Dragonborn rulers of Tamriel. Whether there can be more than one Dragonborn at any time is another mystery. The Emperors have done their best to dismiss this notion. But of course, the Imperial succession itself means that at the very least, there are two or more potential Dragonborn at any time. The current ruler and his or her heirs, the history of the Blades also hints, as is although little is known, their activities during the interregnum between Remen's empire and the rise of Tibur Septum. Many believe that the Blades continue to search out and guard those believed were, or might be, Dragonborn during this time. Lastly, we come to the question of the true meaning of being Dragonborn. The connection with dragons is so obvious that it has almost been forgotten. In these days, where dragons are a distant memory, we forget that in the early days being dragonborn meant having the dragon blood. Some scholars believe that was meant quite literally, although the exact significance is not known. The Nords tell tales of the dragonborn heroes who were great dragon slayers, able to steal the power of the dragons they killed. Indeed, it is well known that the Akavari sought out and killed many dragons during their invasion. And there is some evidence that this continued after they became Remen Cyrodiil's dragon guard. Again, the connection to dragons, the direct predecessor to the blades of today. I leave you with what is known as the prophecy of the dragonborn. It often said to originate in an Elder Scroll. Elder Scrolls? That's the name of the game. Hey! Although it is sometimes also attributed to the ancient Akvari. Many have attempted to decipher it, and many have also believed that his omens had been fulfilled and all at. Uh, Fulfilled, and that the advent of the last Dragonborn was at hand. I make no claims as an interpreter of prophecy, but it does suggest that the true significance of Akhtosh's gift to mortal kind has yet to be fully understood. The misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world, when the brass tower walks and the time is reshaped. When the thrice blessed flail and the red tower trembles, when the dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the white tower falls, when the snow cower lies sun 
Red, Sundred, Kingless, Bleeding, The World Eater Wakes, and the Wheel Turns Upon the Last Dragon. Yay! <laughs> okay, so, alright, you're all. I know about the Dragonborn. Something about Septim and the Cyrodiil and the, and the last Dragonborn. And, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you were reading. <laughs> Shut up. <sighs> okay. Um, I killed the dragon. I think I deserve a reward. Mm -hmm. uh, no, let's let's go with that. What do you know about the dragon board? When the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. That's just what the man called me. Oh, I thought the dialogue would change. So it's true. No, okay. Greybeards really were summoning you. No, the dialogue doesn't change with you reading an entire book out loud. <laughs> it would be a bear of bad news, but the game didn't know you read the whole thing out loud, <laughs> word for word. The game should have known. I, I, I paused. I, I waited. I turned around. What do these greybeards want with me? The dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the void. 